Well, technically, we are now past the peak of hurricane season, but that doesn't mean we're done with tropical activity just yet. We're still tracking Paulette and Renee here. They are still not expected to be any threat to the United States. Paulette actually now expected, though, to become a Category 2 storm, while Renee kind of meanders out in the middle of the Atlantic. So, again, not expecting those to be any threats to the United States, but there are plenty of other areas in the tropics that have a good chance for developing. In fact, this tropical wave here that is now south of the Cape Verde Islands has a 90% chance of developing as it continues west through the central Atlantic. Another wave just emerging off the coast has a 40% chance as it kind of starts to move northwest into the Atlantic after it moves off the coast. Closer to home, though, we're tracking two more tropical waves, one in the northern Gulf of Mexico right now, and that's going to continue to make its way west. That is a 30% chance of developing over the next five days. And another kind of more robust tropical wave here with a lot of shower and thunderstorm activity over the Bahamas. That now has a 70% chance of developing as it kind of passes through the Florida Straits and into the northern portions of the Gulf of Mexico. What it means for us is we're going to get a lot of rain, especially heading into the weekend. And we really don't need any more rain. Because we've seen a lot of rain the past few days, but check out all of that moisture. Yep, that's headed in our direction as we head into today, tonight, tomorrow, and on Saturday and Sunday as well. It's not going to be a complete washout of a weekend, but we are certainly going to have uh, some heavy downpours making their way through. You can see on satellite and radar some of the